642 coming at you live, Santa Monica, California. Check out that view, Pacific Ocean, and that is one pristine beach. Um, you might notice I'm, you say, God, she, she's looking good today. What's going on there? I had a little procedure on. Uh, this is how the people here do it. It doesn't all happen on its own. Um, so, feeling good, feeling confident. I see some people up here, see what they have to say. Uh, excuse me. I'm making a morning pump up video series. People back in New York want to yeah. get the Los Angeles perspective. Can I ask you guys some questions? Yeah. Hit us. Hit us. Yeah. yeah. Only because you have a Tupac shirt. Yeah, oh, you know, and this is know. actually, it's funny you should say that I do that. So the people here will be more receptive to me. Um, <laughs> but I'm wondering, so a lot of important historical events happened here. Uh, where were you guys um, when Lindsay Lohan was sentenced to prison? <laughs> Which time? I, uh, Which, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the first time was sort of like that was the, the like the time that was I think most. Was that when she took the necklace? That was when she. I'm pretty sure that was when she took the necklace. I was um, like, I was living pretty close to her. You were living, God, so that must have been yeah. like especially devastating for you to be living so close by and she wasn't there anymore. Uh, yeah, it's devastating. So another question, L. Ron Hubbard, uh, psycho or saint? Psycho. Psycho, but hasn't he made a lot of um, you know valuable financial contributions, like to, to the causes like Scientology? If you think that Scientology is valuable, so you don't you don't believe in science. <laughs> you're more of like you're like like do you think creationism should be taught in schools? Scientology and science are two different things. You know that's one man's opinion, and you know, I'm from New York. I don't want to get into this whole East Coast West Coast thing. But you guys have been a lot of fun. You take care. Stay pumped. Stay positive. And that is what I'm talking about. Um, those are people who have obviously come out of the, you know, LA public school system. Um, don't know really much about anything, but uh, God, were they friendly, very attractive, probably, you know, um, waiters. Uh, so yes, I am, you know, to get, get to my outfit. Um, I'm wearing the Tupac shirt today, and I didn't want to do this in front of them, but um, underneath, because, you know, I gotta, I gotta represent for my people. I'm sure no one's looking. That's right, put it down quick. Biggie in my soul, you know, Tupac on my shirt. Um, but uh, I never let them see that. I would have changed the conversation. I'm also wearing a Minnie Mouse hat, and Minnie Mouse has been a you know, tremendous role model for, uh, hey, good morning, you guys. I'm doing a little morning pump up series. People back yeah. in New York, you guys want to talk? No. Give us a Los Angelinos perspective, you guys surfers? Hi. No, no, we're not. You're not surfers, right? And you're probably not going to rob a bank after this either, right? Mm. Uh, Via Con Dios. Uh, terrific. One of the kind of the citizen gain of our time. Point break. Uh, Keanu Reeves enthusiasts, you know what I'm talking about, but surfers are kind of notoriously. We, we learned in that movie uh, from, you know, the Anthony Kiedis character. They can be kind of aggressive and closed off to outsiders. But they don't know, you know, from the hat that I'm one of them. Minnie Mouse hat, though. Minnie Mouse has been a real terrific influence on, um, you know, she was, she was kind of the throwaway Rosie the Riveter idea that we're going to go for something subversive. They're like, okay, let's get this, make it a mouse, high pitched voice, high heels, um, long lashes, kind of like not afraid to shake that booty. No one will ever suspect that she's about to like completely overthrow the male gender. It went with something more obvious in the end, you know, the woman with the muscle, but it's great that this has made its way to the media, a role model for young girls. Um, anyway, I'm feeling so positive, so pumped. Phil has written me, he has shaved his entire body, which, you know, from those of us who read Us Weekly, we know that's never a good sign. He says it. Hey, good morning. You guys have a minute? People back in New York, Los Angeles perspective, in and out burger. What is that? So would you consider In-N-Out Burger or Olive Garden more of sort of like the quintessential LA institution? Uh, In-N-Out In Burger. That's an interesting perspective, one I haven't heard much. You guys take care. Stay pumped. Really, people who know nothing about where they live. So Phil, I'm thinking about you. I know you say it's a summer cut, but I'm worried. I'll be home soon, buddy. In the meantime, you all stay positive. Stay pumped. I will go to Benihana for you since you can't have some chop up some tofu for me so I can eat protein all day.